really impossible not to stop for a moment when Janet starts working because her determination with the brush is just really powerful actually. I'm a painter myself and the idea of taking on a huge canvas can be quite daunting but for Janet it's just it's so natural. It's, she's so confident with what colour she wants to choose, the way she wants to work on that day. And it is hard sometimes to not just sit back and watch her and just get into that rhythm, that powerful rhythm that she, she builds up as she paints. Her core practice is so strong and it is so rhythmic and really her passion is just kind of independently painting, having the colours there to just do what she wants. And I think she's a root, she is a colourist and she's an abstract expressionist really. There's a lot of emotion I think going into the way she works. You can tell how Janet's feeling when she comes to the studio with what colour she chooses and kind of the speed she's working. The residency with Janet at Grays Wharf came about through Shalal building a really strong relationship with Grays Wharf over the last year. The idea is really Janet taking over the gallery space, using it as her studio and an opportunity for Janet to have a bigger space, her own space, autonomy of what she wants to do in that space. For the residency, we've invited Amy Lawrence, who is an artist based in Penryn, to create a sound piece inspired by the rhythms of Janet's paintings. The way Shalal Studios operates is a real creative exchange between our artists, and Amy's been coming into the studio, observing Janet painting, bringing in her instruments, responding to what she's been visually making through sound. The first time we came in, I was pretty blown away <laughs> watching her work because she's very fast. Yeah, I watched her do one complete painting that day and it all happened in less than an hour. And then the second time I brought a cello and a clarinet to play with. I wasn't sure what Janet was going to make of me sitting near her making music at the same time as her working. I wanted to base the rhythm of what I was playing on the rhythm of her moving and then the notes of what I was playing on the colours. And I, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was good. And I think she enjoyed it too. I think particularly there was a moment where Janet was painting a jacket. She was painting this jacket all with beautiful colours, inky rainbow colours. And I was sitting quite near her by that point because I'd felt a level of kind of permission that she was felt comfortable with me in her space. So I was playing the clarinet and she was definitely responding to me. It was as though she was sort of conducting something with her art and there was other elements happening in the room which was sound but it was kind of like colour in space in the air which was notes that I was playing and I hope that she liked that as I was playing I was just zoning into the colours that she was making and her face and her how she was creating and so I started going to this world where the, the notes I was playing were going with these colours and they were, because they were inky, they were kind of kind of bursting in. It was really nice. What I really loved actually was that there was this great rhythm where when she works, she goes to the colours and she's choosing colours and then there's this like big burst of applying colour. So 
when I was just responding directly to her, what I was finding was that I was having these huge bursts of sound and then just sort of waiting and watching her choosing the next colours. And when I could sort of listen back to some of the sound recordings, it's not just the rhythm of how she applies paint, which is so percussive. There's also these lovely pauses in between. When you watch that coming into life, there, there's flourishes of sound in what she's doing and then there's thought and choosing and so that's kind of how I wanted to compose this was in that same kind of way so it's got lots and lots of little bursts of sound and then pauses 